Bye. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm chicken. I'm so tired. Because I woke up so early this morning. It was the middle of the night. I had to pee. And I got out of bed. And the apartment was dark. And I went over to the window. And I looked outside. And it was dark outside, too. I don't get to stay up after dark very often. So it was really exciting to see the sky it was totally dark. I even saw some stars. I've heard it's easier to see stars in the country than it is in the city because of the street lights, but I saw stars. Have you ever seen stars? And I looked down and there were some cats slinking up and down the street doing cat business. And inside was totally dark. All I could hear was my parents snoring. And I haven't been up so late before that many times. So I decided just to stay up. And I was resting with my beak on my wings on the windowsill. Just listening to how quiet it was. And then the sky got a little bit lighter. It was a little bit pale gray instead of black. And then I leaned out and looked up the street. And what do you think I saw? The sun was there on the horizon and it was starting to come up. I saw the sunrise. I couldn't believe it. The sky was a little bit pinkish at the bottom and up way above it was like that pale gray of dawn. And see, at the end of my street, I can see the East River. And there was the river, and that was the horizon, and the sun was rising up from the horizon. Oh, my goodness. And then, as it got lighter, my parents got up, and they were taking their showers and making breakfast. And we had breakfast, and they asked me to make my bed, so I pulled up the covers. We had breakfast. And I looked out again and the sun had gone up higher in the sky. It wasn't on the horizon anymore, it was up higher. And then it got even higher, like straight up above. And then my parents said it was time for lunch. And we had lunch. And then, later on, I know the sun is going to go down this way. It's going to go toward the west. And at the other end of my street, I can see the Hudson River, and I know that's west because I used my compass. And it told me that that way is east toward the East River, and that way is west toward the Hudson River, and I know that the sun sets in the west. So I'm hoping that later I'm going to see the sun set on the horizon over there. Isn't that cool that I've got a river? at each end of my street. So the sun sets behind it and that's called the horizon. And then it's gonna get dark. And we're gonna have dinner. And then my parents are gonna say it's time for bed. It's gonna be totally dark. And they're gonna tuck me in and they're gonna sing me a little lullaby and I'm going to go to sleep. And this will have been such a special day that I got to see the sun rise and go up all the way across the sky and I got to see the sun set again in darkness. And I'm going to go to sleep. I wanted to show you some of the words that can help us talk about sunrise and sunset. I'll show you. So when I woke up and I had to go pee, it was dark 
in the apartment and it was dark outside because it was nighttime. And then the sun started to have a sunrise and the sun rose from the horizon in the east and it became daytime and it was light. And then the sun traveled across the sky. In the middle of the day, it was up highest. And then it traveled down this way to the west. And there was a sunset on the horizon in the west. And then it was nighttime again and it was dark. And when it was dark, up above, I saw stars. But in the daytime, I saw our star, the sun, the star that is closest to Earth. And that sun made light and it makes daytime. Okay, that's all for now. Bye.